have to learn about the relation between the gases and the process of respiration before 14th century before 14th century what happens before 14th century century before 14th century people know the word that is breathing so they used the word breathing for the process of gaseous exchange they know the word only breathing they did not know about the word respiration but after 14th century after 14th century the word respiration the word respiration came into use after 14th century the word respiration came into use in those days people did not know about the biological activities which are taking place inside our body like respiration like digestion transportation excretion reproduction so these biological activities were not known by that people in those days so they know only one thing that is air is a mixture of gases they used the word respiration in those days they used the word respiration as for what purposes they used they used the word respiration as medical term medical term means as a scientific term they used and also they used the word respiration as the process involving involving passage of air they used the word respiration as the process involving the passage of air next they used the word respiration as production of body heat see here in those days people used the word respiration as medical term means as a scientific term they used next people also used the word respiration as the process involving passage of air how air enters into our body and how air releases from the body for that purposes also they used the word respiration and they used the word respiration to express the production of body heat our body will produce the heat so normal body temperature will be there so how production how heat will be released from our body that also to express that also they used the word respiration in 18th century in 18th century two scientists priestly and levoiser Priestley and Lewiser they did experiments on properties of gases on what topic on properties of gases and they did experiments on gaseous exchange and on respiration process see here in 18th century priestley and levoiser these both scientists did experiments on properties of gases and gaseous exchanges and respiration process so by these people experiments in those days people came to know that how gases are exchanging from our body so these are the experiments of priestley and levoiser after that levoiser Levoiser did experiments on properties of gases. He carried out several experiments on properties of gases. What are the Levoiser's experiments? So now we have to learn. Levoiser carried several experiments on properties of gases. So what are the experiments of Levoiser? See the first experiments. He has taken the bell jar and he kept the this bell jar 
inside the water trough so this is the trough in the trough he has taken the water afterwards he has taken the powdered charcoal powdered charcoal or charcoal powder he has taken inside the bell jar and he kept this bell jar inside the water trough next he heated he heated the powdered charcoal then a gas released from the powdered charcoal or charcoal powder he identified this gas as fixed air fixed air in those days carbon dioxide gas was known as fixed air fixed air means carbon dioxide gas was known as fixed air in those days so this is the experiment of levoisier so levoisier observed a gas liberated from the powdered charcoal when he heated that so he kept the bell jar inside the water trough and inside the bell jar he has taken the powdered charcoal and he heated the powdered charcoal so when he heated that a gas liberated inside the bell jar and he identified that gas as fixed air fixed air means today we are calling it as a carbon dioxide gas next second experiment he carried with phosphorus second experiment he did with phosphorus substance so here instead of powdered charcoal he has taken the phosphorus in second also and same setup he has arranged here also phosphorus he has taken the inside the bell jar and he kept the bell jar in a water trough after that he heated the phosphorus inside the bell jar so when he heated the phosphorus phosphorus started burning burning is also called as a combustion that means phosphorus undergoes combustion process so why phosphorus burned so levo is a thought so why phosphorus burned so inside the bell jar something is there so that is gum that is combining with the phosphorus that's why phosphorus was burned so what is that so something is there that is combining with the phosphorus but that was not water vapor that was not water vapor what is that so that is a part of air so that is like a fluid fluid like substance that may be a fluid like substance it may be equal to respirable air which we breathe in or the gas which helps in the burning process so this is the observation made by the levoisier by this experiments so these are the two experiments done by the the scientist levoisier levoisier noted some observations what are the observations noted by the levoisier see here levoisier has taken the metal after that he burned the metal so as he burned the metal a gas is released according to us which gas is releases for example carbon dioxide gas in those days they called carbon dioxide gas as fixed air next when we breathe in when we breathe in means we take the air into our body which air we are taking into the body when we breathe in which gas is utilized by our body so that is oxygen gas see here here oxygen gas in those days they did not know the word oxygen they called the oxygen as respirable air respirable air or respirable gas respirable gas or respirable air means oxygen gas and fixed air means carbon dioxide gas so when a metal is combusted or burned fixed air will be releases and when we breathe in oxygen gas we are taking into our body so this difference is observed by the levoisier levoisier also noted the another difference that is so take a metal and burn the metal burn so when you burn the metal a gas will be released which gas carbon dioxide gas then levoisier sent this gas into a into a test tube in which lime water is there so this is the lime water lime water 
lime water he sent the carbon dioxide gas into the lime water then after that when we breathe out when we breathe out which gas will be released out carbon dioxide gas and he sent this gas into the test tube in which lime water is there in which lime water is present then what happens so when metal undergoes combustion process a gas will be released and he sent this gas into the lime water in the same way when we breathe out when we release the air to the outside a gas will be released that gas is sent into the lime water so what do you observe so then what happen lime water turns into milky so because in both cases carbon dioxide gas will be released but so here lime water turns into milky very faster compared to the a gas released after the combustion of metal so this difference observed by the levoisier after many experiments levoisier came to know that there are two processes there are two processes in respiration but levoisier knows only one process that is exhaled air that is exhaled air contains fixed air fixed air we are calling as a carbon dioxide gas fixed air is also called as a chalky acid gas see here after many experiments levoisier came to know that there are two processes occurs in the respiration process but levoisier knew only one process that is exhaled air when we exhale the air in that which air is there fixed air or chalky acid gas is present in the exhaled air after that levoisier did experiments to know the presence of chalky acid gas or fixed air so 1 by 6th volume 1/6th volume of 1/6th volume of vitiated air 1/6th volume of vitiated air contains the chalky acid gas chalky acid gas means what carbon dioxide gas levoisier also noted that 1/6th volume of vitiated air contains chalky acid gas or fixed air so what is the meaning of vitiated air what is the vitiated air see here air in the air what do you find in the air oxygen gas is present and the same way carbon dioxide gas also present oxygen means according to levoisier in those days they did not know about the oxygen word they called it as a respirable gas and they called the carbon dioxide as a chalky acid gas or fixed air so here air contains the both respirable air and fixed air so now so we have to remove the respirable air respirable air or oxygen gas from the air so the air from which we are removing the air from which respirable air has been removed this air is called what do you call vitiated air what is vitiated air the air from which respirable air or oxygen gas has been removed is called vitiated air so it means vitiated air contains the chalky acid gas but here respirable air is absent in vitiated air levoisier also noted that we can produce we can convert the vitiated air into the common air how vitiated air converts into the common air levoisier recreated the common air from vitiated air so common air contains the what respirable air but vitiated air contains the fixed air so to produce to convert the vitiated air into the common air what you have to do in the vitiated air what is there fixed air is there so we have to remove the fixed air we have to remove the fixed air and add the respirable air or respirable air respirable air or oxygen gas we have to add and we have to remove the carbon dioxide or fixed air so then it is converting into the common air 
so in that way levo is a recreated the common air from the vitiated air after many experiments levo is a came to the one logical conclusion regarding the respiration process so what is the logical conclusion of levo is a so let us see with the help of the diagram so we take the air into the body we take the air into the body in that air more amount of respirable air is present respirable air means oxygen gas so this is respirable air, air travels through the windpipe and finally reaches to the lungs so here respirable air reaching to the lungs after that respirable air absorbed into the lungs it changes into the chalky acid air chalky acid air chalky acid air means carbon dioxide gas respirable air means oxygen gas inside the lungs what is happening oxygen changing into the carbon dioxide respirable air changes into the chalky acid air the amount of respirable air we taken into the lungs that much amount of chalky acid air will be produced inside the lungs then after that chalky acid air will move through the same pathway and it will be released outside here levo is are believed that so when respirable air entered into the lungs it combines with the blood so when respirable air combines with the blood then blood get the red color so blood get the red color due to the combination of uh, this respirable air with blood so it is absorbed by the levo is there but today we know that blood is present in red color so due to the presence of red pigment that is hemoglobin hemoglobin is a red colored pigment it is present in the blood so that's why blood is present in red color but levo is are believed that when the respirable air combines with the blood then blood will get the red color in mid 19th century in mid 19th century the scientist john dopper wrote a book that book name is human physiology human physiology book was written by john dopper in his book human physiology he wrote some lines about the process of respiration so what are those lines i am going to read listen here the chief materials which a living being receives are matter that can be burnt water and oxygen gas and out of the action of these upon one another all the physical phenomena of life arise what the body expel out is water oxide of carbon phosphorus sulfur and others so that means so we take the some materials into our body for the respiration process what are the materials we are taking oxygen and water we are taking into our body so this oxygen and water depending upon each other so that's why our life in our body biological activities are taking place finally we excrete some waste materials what are the waste materials are excreted from our body they are what are that water oxide of carbon means carbon dioxide sulfur and phosphorus by this way people came to know that what are the compounds involved in respiration process so people came to know the substances or compounds participate in respiration process but they did not know about the steps in respiration what are the events present in respiration process in those days people believed that so there is a relation between the process of respiration and production of body heat 